What's going on, guys? It's Mr. D-E-B-T, Joe Lork from the Money Etiquette Group. It's that time of the year. Again, it's my birthday weekend. I like to give away as much as I can in terms of financial advice, investment advice, just lifestyle advice. I like to give away as much as I can during my birthday weekend because I feel great just for being here another 365 days. I feel great and blessed and honored to have another day on this earth. I don't uh, look at any day as something that I should have. I look at it as a blessing. And because I feel blessed, I want to make sure you are blessed too. I want to make sure to give you as much as I can because it makes me feel great to help other people. So make sure you pay attention to this video because I'm going to be throwing out a lot of advice. I'm going to be giving a lot of information. Keep in mind, I am not speaking to you as your personal financial advisor. It is up to you to listen or not. These are just my thoughts on where industries are going, where the economy is going, what to look out for, if the recession is coming, which I've already been talking about, how to not be broke, how to thrive in 2020. I'm going to give you everything I can in a very short time frame. So make sure you pay close attention to what I'm going to tell you. All right, so let's start off with some opportunities I see investment-wise, job-wise, just when it comes to industries and you know some of the businesses or some of the services, products that I think are gonna do great in 2020. And even you could say in the end of 2019, I want you to pay attention to this, okay? This is very important. Number one, holographic technology is going to take off in 2020, okay? You remember Back to the Future. You remember we've been talking about it so long about digital ads and ads being produced in holograms and movies. And Well, in 2020, this industry is going to become more accessible to everyday consumers, okay? We're not just going to see it in corporate America. We're not going to just see it in Las Vegas for shows. We're going to see it in people's homes. We're going to see it through watches. We're going to see it through our own technology. We're going to see it instead of billboards. We're going to see holograms in the middle of cities. I'm telling you guys, holographic technology is going to do great in 2020. It's going to be a launching point. And why? Because of 5G speeds. Okay. When it comes to investing, holographic technology and 5G, uh, 5G internet speed and those companies that help provide that and make sure that that's running correctly, you're going to make a lot of money by either investing in those companies or supporting them or even working in those industries, okay? Just know that it is coming in 2020. Also, uh, AI, we already been speak we've been speaking about it a lot. AI is going to continue to take off and thrive in 2020. It's going to do better in 2020 than it did in 2019. Mental health, okay? If you're looking for work, mental health is the industry that will hire more people than almost any other industry in terms of growth, okay? In terms of accelerated hiring. Mental health is huge. Since we've come on the dawn of the social media age, the internet age, the communication age. More people have needed, especially children, uh, teenagers, and even adults, more people have needed help when it comes to mental health. They need more stability. As we move away from factories and you know factory lines and building things and manufacturing things, we work towards helping each other. And mental health is going to be huge in 2020. So from an investment standpoint, and even from a job security standpoint, mental health is a great industry to be a part of. Also, Ripple, XRP, enough said. Uh, data mining, if you want to work in data mining, great industry to get a job in, great industry to get some training in and start working immediately and make a great amount of money. They can ne Businesses will never have enough data mining, especially as we move into a world that's supported by blockchain and just, you'll see, 2020. Also, uh, rental income. Rental income is going to be huge in 2020. I'm not talking about paying uh, for your rent or, you know, renting yourself. Of course, I'm talking about investing in real estate and creating rental income. Re a recession is coming. Okay. A recession is coming. So the opportunity to buy real estate for cheap and then flip it for rentals because people can't get in the homes is going to be at a all time, I would say maybe a 10 year high. And it's only going to go further up from that point. So rental income, I see that as being big in 2020. Uh, places that you can invest internationally, uh, Ghana, Johannesburg, Ghana, I'm talking about for real estate. These places have great opportunities, especially if you're a black person, to invest in real estate. It's going to be a great opportunity for you to do so. Laws are very uh, friendly for you in those, uh, in those environments. Just trust me. Also, Detroit, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit's already on. It's already up for sale. Okay, so if you're into real estate investing and investments, Detroit should be your primary target, especially in 2020. Detroit. Uh, also, uh, just keep in mind some other opportunities. I just wanted to check my list and make sure I had it down. There is going to be an opportunity uh, in terms of, of course, IT. Everyone's been jumping in IT. IT is good. Those who jumped in IT early, you're going to be rewarded in 2020. IT is going to be a great industry to be a part of, whether it be uh, sales, 
whether it be uh, especially when it comes to corporate sales or whether it just be uh, in a situation where you're supporting uh, some type of corporation or some type of uh, employer as you know, you're working in IT, that's gonna be great too. Now, some opportunities that won't be there, okay? Some of the things that people think I should jump on now, but it's too late, okay? Cannabis. I'm not gonna say you can't make can money from cannabis, but if you're not bringing in six figures, if you're not putting up big money and you haven't already started the process, it's probably too late for you to start heavily investing in cannabis in the United States. I'm telling you, the players have already positioned themselves. They are companies that are ready to jump in. If you think that, oh, in 2020, as things get closer to legalization, especially based on the uh, results of the election and what's said, and I don't care if it's a Democrat or a Republican in the United States at the president's seat, I'm telling you that cannabis being legalized is coming. And at the end of the day, those who are in position to win have already positioned themselves. Everyone else would just be getting scratched. Uh, Bitcoin, it's done, okay? I'm not saying the gains of Bitcoin are done. I'm saying that the opportunity to make money off of Bitcoin is a regular person it passed years ago, but if you're still trying to do that, guys, get out of here, okay? It's more about Ripple and low-cost uh, cryptocurrency that's about real-world real, uh, real world usage, not Bitcoin. Uh, also, plant-based investments, okay? I know everyone jumped on, you know, the Beyond Meats uh, stock and everybody saw that IPO come out. It is not going to hit like that in 2020, okay? There was a, that was a short window to make money in a short period of time, okay? That time period is over. I'm not saying that you won't make some money, but plant-based investments, no. It's not going to win for you in 2020, okay? So don't try to say, I've been waiting, I'm gonna get in Beyond Meats now, I'm gonna wait till 2020, it's too late. You gotta move on to something else. You better get down with holographic technology. You better get down with uh, 5G services and those who support them. You better get down with AI, you know, mental health. Like I told you, get down with that. Don't worry about cannabis and plant-based investment companies, no. I'm telling you right now, those industries, it's a little bit too late for you to really just start and feel like you're gonna make a lot of money when things are going downhill. And also, like I told you guys, recession. I already, uh, for the last two years, I so told you a recession is coming by the end of 2019, early 2020. It is coming. And I'm not saying that to make you sad. I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm saying that because I want you to take advantage of the opportunity that's there. I'm saying that because I want you to take the opportunity and take advantage of the opportunity to buy real estate for cheap. You can play Monopoly, real life Monopoly during recessions, okay? Properties are a lot cheaper. People have to rent. It goes back to what I said, set yourself up to be a landlord in 2020. Buy properties for 10 and 20,000 and then put another 10 or 15 into them and go ahead and flip them. Buy some that are already uh, ready made and pretty much good to go just because of recession. Unfortunately, people go through hard times and they lose homes. Well, it's your opportunity to make more money through investments. I'm not talking Airbnb. I'm talking about long-term, one-year contract, two-year contract rentals. It's going to be a great opportunity to make money and position yourself in the rental income business in 2020. Again, guys, this is just free information. It's just some things coming off my mind. I'm not telling you that you're guaranteed to make money from this, but I'm telling you where I see things going. I could be wrong, but I do this every year, usually based on historical evidence. And when I do it, it comes out to be correct just because I'm paying attention to the economy. I see how things go. If you look at history, things repeat themselves over and over and over again. And I'm telling you guys, a recession is coming and this is how you make money during a recession. Also, move your money. Okay, it's time to move your money around if you are worried or you want to prepare for a recession. You want to take your profits out of the market and you want to put them in stable investments, investments that guarantee you interest gains. It's that simple. Or you want to move it into real estate like I told you, but you want to take your profits. I'm not talking about your long-term money that you're going to let sit through a recession that's going to be there for 10 or 20 years. I'm talking about profits. It's time to move your profits to more stable investments. Okay, make sure you look at, I don't care if it's bonds, I don't care if it's CDs, anything that's paying more because those rates are dropping. So now is the time to make that move before they further drop because look, the Fed can only go with so much lower with the interest rate to combat this recession that's coming. So they can't really stop it, but it will make, the, the Fed will make attempts to lower the interest rates. It will happen. So go ahead and move your money in certain places while you still have decent rates before they start to drop. And like I said, just try to go more, uh, move at least a percentage of your money into real investments. Also, um, lower your lifestyle costs by at least 
Okay, if you got to cut the cord and cable, so be it. If you have to get rid of a car just because, you, look, it just has to be done, get rid of a car. If you have to stop uh, some extracurricular activity or cut it down by a quarter, by 25%, do so. Cut your expenses by 25%. You will thank me later. I guarantee it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you hit the like button, comment, add your opinion, add your predictions for 2020, 2019, whatever you want to do. Go ahead and comment. If you disagree, agree, say what you must. I don't care. It's all good. Whatever goes, I'm not offended by anything you think. You can call me an idiot. You can call me a genius. I really don't care. Just go ahead and do what you guys do and make sure that you keep your eye open for more videos that are coming out because I'm going to be putting out as much information as I can to help you guys in 2019 and 2020, especially during my birthday weekend because again i'm in a giving mode i feel good i don't want anything from you but i do want you to benefit and i want you to do great in 2020 all right guys have a good one